In a world where everybody's trying to become YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram famous, there are people out there doing some pretty crazy things now, just trying to get themselves noticed, kind of like this guy here, which will sometimes lead to real stories kind of getting pushed to the side. Well, we're going to bring that back. Welcome to the new midweek series, Boneheaded Boaters News of the Week. Our first news story this week is going to take us down to the Galapagos Islands, where here you can see they're loading a container onto the ship. And the, our next event this week happens January 9th down in Fort Myers, Florida, where my man's coming in to dock at one of his favorite spots, and instead of going into neutral, accidentally hits the throttle and crashes into the vessel in front of him. If that's not bad enough, his day just got a little worse. If you can't tell, the person that exited that boat, that's right, that is a Fort Myers police officer. He has crashed into a police vessel. Luckily, everybody walks away with no injuries, just a little bit of a hurt ego and a couple bruised engines. Our next incident this week happened down in Cartagena, Colombia just a few days ago. Cartagena, Colombia, if you're not familiar with it, is one of Colombia's most popular tourist destinations. It has beautiful beaches, fantastic nightlife, and there's a lot to do on these beaches, and it is a very touristy place. And so there's lots going on like jet skiing, boating, and tubing down here. So a couple people go down and they decide they're going to take one of the adventure tubing rides. That's right, I'm calling it the adventure tubing ride because this captain's getting them a little too close to some other things going on and crashes them into a boat. These guys are very fortunate everybody was okay, but that's an insane ride right there. Our next incident this week actually starts back in November in Japan, where a few gentlemen decide they're going to sail a vessel from Japan to Hawaii, when about three weeks into this trip, things go really wrong and they wind up losing their mast. A few hours after that happens, they hit a rough patch of weather, and the boat actually winds up being flipped upside down by a rogue wave. They get very fortunate and another rogue wave comes along and actually rights the vessel. They wind up adrift for over a week since all their equipment was smashed during the flipping, and wound up being very fortunate and being found by a good Samaritan vessel and rescued later. This footage is from the Coast Guard where the Coast Guard arrived to help these guys get back to safety. And once again, very fortunate here, nobody was injured. Our next incident this week happened January 17th with a 14 footer nine miles offshore off the coast of Fort Pierce. And no, I'm not talking about a 14 foot wave, I'm talking about a 14 foot boat that ran out of gas. These guys did everything by the book though and were very fortunate. They filed a float plan and actually let their family and friends know where they were supposed to be and what time they were supposed to return. And when they did not return, the family and friends called the Coast Guard and they were able to quickly rescue them. One thing I am a little confused by in this one though, is it does say that the boat was actually towed in later. Why did they do a sea rescue and actually dive in and pull these guys out of the water when the boat appears to be floating and was towed in? I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of this new midweek series. If you see anything happening on your waterways or any boating news you think should make this new midweek series, let me know on Facebook or Instagram. If you see anything funny happening on your waterways, let me know for Boneheaded Boaters of the Week and I'll see you guys on Sunday for that. And if you haven't already, drop an anchor on the subscribe button. If you don't, I'm sending the Drain Plug Mafia out to steal your drain plug and your boat will be sleeping with the fishes.